you find yourself surrounded by trouble or by thugs or people bullying you, I know it's tough. But I encourage you to keep praying, keep praying, break on through, no matter how desperate it feels. At the same time, I also encourage you to keep on having faith that the Lord Jesus Christ will protect you. I also encourage you to be practical. Prepare yourself anyways. Do not buy into that pacifism that's taught by a lot of churches. It's not realistic when people think that whatever happens, happens. That's fatalism. Especially if you have a family. If you got family or children, you want to be able to protect them as much as you can. Of course, you're going to pray for them every day. But at the same time, it's good to be practical. Evil does happen in the world because of evil people. But we do have a duty to defend our loved ones. Yes, we're not afraid whatever happens to us. We have hope in the Lord Jesus Christ that we will be saved. But at the same time, if it's not our time yet, then we have a duty to stay alive, to survive, so we can live another day to spread the gospel. If you're single, you have a duty to survive because you may have a future spouse or future mate waiting for you. And so you have a duty to protect yourself, to defend yourself. If you're a woman, if you're a Christian woman, you have a duty to learn self-defense, to be able to protect your chastity from any kind of assaults. It's your duty. So I encourage you to learn self-defense now while you're still able to. And also I want to encourage you to learn how to strengthen your spirit. The Bible talks about the last days. People will be easily offended. Scientists now are learning that. People today are more impatient. People seem to be always on survival mode. People seem to be always in that fight or flight response. And that's very unhealthy for the body. Praying a lot, a little bit of fasting can help with that. Learn to first love yourself, to be able to forgive yourself. Because when people have anger towards themselves, a lot of times that can project to them being angry at others. Learn to forgive yourself. Learn to love yourself. Read the Bible every day so you can learn to embrace the fact that God loves you and God rescued you. At the same time, practical things like learning self-defense so you can develop more self-esteem and confidence. And that can also strengthen your spirit when dealing with stress. As a matter of fact, the scientists claim that it's rare that the elite military folks would develop any kind of PTSD or post-traumatic syndrome. And why is that? Because those elite military, they train their minds to be able to handle any kind of stress, to have that peace that even when they're captured or become prisoners, they're able to have that peace. They're able to become strong and they're able to not be easily offended. So if you're surrounded by trouble, you're surrounded by thugs, I encourage you to hang in there. And I also encourage you to connect other strong Christians. And I know it's tough nowadays because it seems like a lot of the churches, a lot of Christians, they're not as warm and compassionate as we would like them to be. And it's sad too, because in the churches, it's almost like an exclusive club that to become part of their tribe and group, you'd have to be a paying member because when they pass the offering plates, that's basically people paying membership to be part of that group and tribe. Why can't people just have a family of Christians that will love them? Not because they're a paying member, but they're being loved because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. I encourage you once again to keep praying, keep staying strong, and keep learning and training.
keep learning self-defense. Keep strengthening yourself. And if you need someone to talk to, just send me an email on the address show. And I will be your fellowship. I will be your brother. And if you're a woman, we have other sisters too who can fellowship with you and listen to you. God bless.